First stage of the process is to remove the brackets that come pre-attached to the motherboard. These simply unscrew. I would keep them uh, just in case you need them later on. So remove them top and bottom. You will notice that once you've taken these out, the back plate can be removed. So if you don't have access to the back plate, put the cooler on first before you put it into the motherboard. You screw the motherboard in. Note the location of the gold triangle in the bottom left hand corner which corresponds with the triangle on the socket in the bottom left corner so align that up and simply drop the processor in there should be no force required to do this and it will sit in place without moving around drop the locking lever down then the processor is locked in place the thermal paste is pre-applied to the uh, Wraith Spire cooler so you shouldn't have to do anything with that unless you want to put your own thermal paste on. There's two fan types, there's a 5 and 7 blade. They're just updated to a 7 blade with the newer ones. Location of the tab, either facing towards the RAM or away from it. Those are the only two positions you can have it. I'm putting it away from the memory, just in case you have tall heatsink spreaders. And then work around the screws. You can do this diagonally if you want. Just put them in place first and then tighten them off once you've got bite on the screws. You'll find that you won't be able to over tighten these, they will just stop turning. They're spring loaded, so just put a bit of pressure on them if you need to at the start. And then that will be in place firmly. And then attach the fan header to the motherboard CPU header. And the job is done. Very simple, very straightforward. A correctly fitted cooler won't have any play in it at all, so you can quickly check that just with your hand, making sure that there's no play at all. Thanks for watching. Hope that was useful.